The Chapel of St. Januarius is the synthesis of the deep religious bond between Naples and the young Christian martyr. It is in his name that the deputation made it into a treasure trove containing the finest artistic expressions of the time. If the chapel was intended to express the people, it had to have the very best of sculpture, architecture, and even music. Of course, the space of sound is by its nature invisible, but we well know how strong the evocative power of music is. Singing is like praying twice over, above all in the chapel of St. Januarius, the first quadraphonic area in the world with two organs and two choirs designed to construct an immersive listening experience. What for us today is a normal listening experience was then an incredible novelty. The 17th and 18th centuries were the centuries of the total predominance of the Neapolitan school of music in Europe. For the liturgies, the most famous composers were summoned, such as Alessandro Scarlatti and Giovanni Battista Pergolisi, and celebrated singers like Farinelli. The town was a laboratory of musical experimentation. Its famous conservatories were the first music schools in the world, and in churches and theaters the teaching of music blossomed into performances involving hundreds of musicians and singers. Consider, too, the brass gate designed by Cosimo Fonzago, an imposing work presented in 1665 after 40 years of work on it. This entrance to the chapel of St. Januarius is a 13-ton colossus, richly decorated, but at the same time designed with the lightness of a sound box, like an instrument which responds to the musicality of the chapel itself. It is a popular belief that each of the vertical bars corresponds to a musical note, like the keyboard of a xylophone, but it is really just a fanciful idea, which has become a legend, and added luster to this extraordinary work. 